Okay, so round number two, if the opponent accepts, it's going to be underway soon. Yeah. Let's see. Tomato cheese, never heard of him. Using a ah, Riku of the Reflections. Cool. Never saw that avatar. Let's just say good luck, have fun. Oh, we have a lot of card draw. Hard to say no to that. I think I'm going to keep this. It's a bit weird hand. Um, what the hell is this? What? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I actually don't know what this means. Maybe it's Tron? Like Green Tron? With this amount of card draw, I think I want lands. If it's Tron, I don't need Bolt. And also, importantly, if they play like a Chromatic Star, this means that they are uh, kind of an unfair deck, probably. So Bolt doesn't really do much in an, in a fair, in an unfair matchup. I don't know what they could be playing, actually. Maybe it's uh, some kind of... Yeah, some kind of storm. This is... Okay, it can shoot things that it's blocking. So let's just attack. And pass the turn. Calling up counter spell. Um, I think people don't um, don't value a lot, at least uh, not a lot, as I was uh, as I watch other players. Um, in they don't put value in representing things that do, you don't have. So I think it's important to do so. First of all, because it's fun. I think representing that you have a counter spell, even though you don't have it, it's a fun experience. Also, uh, because it, it has value. The opponent might not go for something. Uh, I don't think I want an Ogre of Polas. I think I just want a counter spell now. So, right now the opponent doesn't know what we are playing, so we might be blue red or blue, or more mono blue. Even blue black right now with cast down is a possibility. So, uh, concealing information and trying to represent something that you don't have might help us. I would counter that if I could. They seem to be stuck on lands. They can suck this to... Okay, let's see what they have. They have songs, songs, that reach... Oh, God! They're super... Nah, we're fine. They don't have any cyphers. They can suck, suck, and generate 5, 6, 7, 8... Uh, a lot of mana. So I just want to draw into interaction. That's interaction. Ooh, that's good. We can even go for the scred now on one of their of their tinder walls. So basically but the problem is they have a lot of mana, so maybe going for a bolt doesn't accomplish a much. So I prefer to draw more cards to see if we can find more interaction even. They seem to be just passing the turn now. Weird that they didn't go for the cycle horror end of turn. I'm going to go like this. I don't need to cycle as far as. So I can go for a scred on one to just not discard to hand size. Again, they might be a bit afraid of us because we have so many cards in hand, even though we have a lot of land. Manamorphose, it's fine. We just care about their songs of the damned. Horror. Green mana, the circle drain stinger, a healer. So we just care about uh, their rituals. If they don't have rituals, they don't have anything. So we have two counters for their rituals. They can go like ritual, 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 and that's fine. Chromatic star is a redraw, but we only care about the rituals. I think I'm going to go for the cycle now, even though we have so many lands for 
brainstorm because the value of having two on top red sources plus four mana is important. Um, I think I'm going to go for it. No, I'm not going to go for it because we have a interaction right now. We can go like this. Again, if they use their, that mana to go for rituals, they're going to try and counter them. Okay. Okay. I don't think these decks are built properly because they need their land drops to cast. Uh, to cycle and all that, and even if when you look at how they play out, you sometimes just play some things out, uh, trying to find your land drops, and sometimes you miss, and it's very difficult for you to go out, to go off like that. So I think uh, this deck needs to play more lands. I don't remember exactly this configuration how many lands it plays, but it may, may play something like eight lands. So yeah, that's not great. Let's see how what they go for now. I can go for the stutter, but I don't want to. I could go for it and just deny them from two mana, basically giving me another turn. But I prefer to counter the ritual. They have so many rituals, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, that ritual is fine. They even have ribbon the grapes, so that's awful for us. We need to let this go, sadly. Um, I can't see the mana. So we find mana. Yep. I think we lose now. Cycle this guy. Cycle that thing. Okay, suck the star. Cycle that guy. Metamorphos. They will have a lot of storms, so they are going to bounce all their things back. But if but if we just hit them for three, four, four plus a bolt isn't enough, so we need to find something else. We are going to counter their their songs, and they will have to ribbing and just try to go off in a following turn. They're going to return literally all their creatures to their hand, but they can't really. Okay. They can't really go for. Ripping. Uh, sorry, for. What I'm trying to say. They can't go for the kill this turn. I don't think. Unless they drew another Songs of Them. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to just pass the turn. They don't have mana to cast any spells, I don't think. So they will... Oh yeah, they will because they have mana from the... From the Tinder walls. Oh. The problem is that the only place that we could have to stop them is when they cast their mana morphos. But if we do that, then we are soft to land. Basically, if they have a land, they can just go from there. So I wanted to just keep that. They can suck now and cast their stingers. Okay, now they are dead to bolt if we top deck it. They are dead on board. Okay. 
So they were fishing for rituals, apparently. So maybe we played it wrong, maybe we should have just countered the mana morphos because we were so close to just finish them off, finishing them off. This looks like they have another ritual, so that could be backbreaking for us. If they don't, they lose. They do. If they do, they need now to have a ripping. And I'm not uh, super comfortable with saying when they have the kill or not, so I'm just going to let them play it out. It's not uh, me being an asshole, it's just I don't really know when they win or they don't win. Because they need to cast something to fix their mana, right? Okay, they have something to fix their mana, so they now need more mana even, and they only have one extra Songs of the Dam in their deck. Okay, they go for green, so they can cast the Tinder Walls, makes sense. Reaping, they return everything. No, Lotus Petal. That's fine. I'm not sure if they have the kill or not. I think they do, but maybe they misplay, so uh, yeah, they have a Tinder Wall in hand. So they, they need to have a... Um, uh, ripping the graves in their hand. They probably found their other songs. There it is. So this deck is very interesting to see played out. I'm, I'm sure the opponent isn't mad that I'm making him play it out. Uh, I played the deck a couple of times and it was very fun to play. Um, so I think that they what they need to do now is just return everything. Sack the petal for green, cast the tinder wall, sack it and cast two stingers and cycle, and they should have enough for that to work. This looks amazing, it's super fun to, to watch. Uh, sadly, we kind of. I, I I don't think it was a punt. I want. I was trying to. I was trying to kill them and not just not die for a turn, if that makes sense. So they should kill that. They have another Manamorphos in their deck. I don't think they even need it. Yeah, they just cycle now. So they have to cycle ten times, and they have ten cards in library. So, oh, they can now play another Stinger. So that's, that just kills us, right? Yeah, now down they do, yeah. Uh, we are so uh, so close to it that I'm going to actually let him, let him kill me. Because we are so close ahead, it's more or less the same thing. At this point, I'm unsure if he just, oh, they, they just want to kill to kill us. I'm going to let them do that. I think they even can do a bit of a trick with how you stack the triggers because cycling is a trigger so you can cycle and in response to the cycle ability cycle again. So you actually don't need to yeah that's a trick. Yeah so they know they know their shit. So they know what they are doing. Awesome. Okay we got a bit of an information there in that they know what they are doing. So yeah we are not super good against this deck. I think Hydroblast is okay, mostly because of Manamorphos. Stopping a Manamorphos has some value, they need their their mana. Uh, Scred and Lightning Bolt aren't great. I think I prefer a Narrate over that. Fire Ice can cycle. This can, can kill a Chromatic Star or something. Um, what else? They can also bring like pyroblasts in. I'm not so sure. 
So I think I'm going to keep the bolts and then scrap because killing their walls is also useful. And not it's not that we are missing on something. Like we could play like a storm on geist, but I don't think we want to tap out for that. So this should be a good matchup for us actually, because we have counter spells and sprites and all that. The problem is that we don't have a very good clock, so this kind of matchups where Daughter of Secrets is so much better than anything else, because what you want is to put a clock and then stop them from comboing off. But as we saw in that game, they comboed off in like the turn, I don't know, 7 or something. It's impossible to watch from here, but let's see if we find it. Turn 4, turn 5, turn 6, turn 6, so turn 7 of them, yeah. Turn 7 they they went off. So, yeah, as you see, if we, if we have a, a Devil of Secrets, we could have killed them before turn 7, so. I'm going to start. Um, we have a Preordain, so I'm going to keep Preordain. Uh, counter spell is very important in the matchup too. I think I want to go for Preordain turn 1, because the red isn't as useful in this matchup especially. In this kind of matchups you prefer to be mono blue, you don't care about killing their creatures really, so... Um, a better mana base and not slowing you down for that is better. Let's see what they go for... Okay. A braid isn't doing anything for us. Island isn't doing anything for us either. Ponder is fine. I think I'm going to go for it because we have the evolving wilds and I don't think we are going to counter anything in turn two. I think they can, in theory, go off on turn two, but that should be difficult for them. So they play swamps. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to go for Ponder. I'm trying to find. Ugh. Okay, at least we can shuffle some of this. I don't need the island, so I'm going to go like this. And um, I think I'm going to represent this spell and Hydroblast, even though we don't have it in hand. We can shuffle with Ash Barrels, and it's more or less the same thing as shuffling with Evolving Wilds. We just want them to miss their land drops. I think I'm going to go for blue. We don't care about uh, red in this matchup. We could have gone the other way around and just fetch the red source and shuffle, sorry, and play the evolving wilds and search for red. Okay, if they play con something that they can counter with a sprite, I'm going to oblige. I would very much prefer them not having them. So. We can shuffle to remove the amount of lands in our deck before frantic inventory because we don't have any scrys to the bottom right now. I was thinking if I, I had uh, preordained to the bottom or something, but no. So we are not in a good situation because we are not pressuring them and each turn is better for them. Not only they draw more cards, but they can also find more um, land drops, which are very good for them. I think I need to go for this sprite now. I don't like it, but I don't have a choice. I don't expect them to have like a pyroblast here. Yeah. So this is a way of us uh, starting to pressure something a bit. Also, it makes our sprites better. We can counter now a cabal ritual with them. Also importantly, um, we weren't able to we weren't able to deploy all of, all of our counter magic the following turn, so playing it out wasn't the, the wasn't the worst. Okay, if they play anything that they can counter, I'm going to, but they are just cycling, so that's very difficult for us. So right now we are kind of in the same situation as before, but we are not going to deploy 
sprite. So they have uh, Tinder World, Chromatic Star, Marmorphos, and Cavalry Ritual. So they have a lot of things. I'm going to counter the land grant, I think so. Yeah. So that way we stop them from deploying. So countering that land grant seemed like a bad deal, but actually uh, it gives them it gives them a lot of mana in a couple of turns. So I think it's correct to let that resolve. We can just consider them fixed. They have all the colors. We are not fighting that. We are going to fight for amount of mana now. Counter rituals basically. I don't need to cycle with those patterns now. Frantic inventory is fine. I think I'm going to play out dash parents actually. The thing doesn't do anything right now. Because we uh, shuffle, sorry, we scry to the bottom, so. We can play only one spell, only one blue spell, so they have anamorphosis, so I think I need the pyroblast, the hyroblast. So the bolt is very good now because they can't sh uh, shock themselves a lot with straight wraith. It looks like they are just cycling their stars. Okay. Manamorphos now. They might go for a. Um, I think they are going for a uh, ribbing. So stopping them from deploying a lot of spells on one turn is some value. Tinder wall. We let that resolve. We can kill that if they give us the opportunity. I'm going to counter the ritual. They concede, I don't know why. Um, we have Bolt and 2 damage more, we are giving them 5. I don't know, it looks like a quick quick uh, concession there. I don't know about that. So, Echoing Truth um, doesn't seem that good. Curfew neither. Curfew at least can bounce one of our creatures. I think I'm going to go for one less scred, one more Stormongeist. Even though it's not amazing, it's a threat. And we have a couple of removal spells for them. We will hope to win this match, but it's very difficult. They can just win. Uh, similar to Affinity, you might have a cyber plan and everything, but when they just kill you, they just kill you and you can't do anything. So at least we know what they are playing for, we just need to counter their ritual this time. Last time they had so much mana that it was very difficult to fight them on that axis. The first match, the first game I mean. The second one, they didn't draw any, a lot of, um, they didn't draw a lot of rituals. So they could only try to go off a couple of times. We were able to stop them, but it wasn't easy. This hand is very slow and we don't have any interaction. I think I'm going to mulligan. They kept 7 though, which is kind of a beating. I'm going to keep this and put back the brainstorm. You can go turn 1 per vein. Yeah, I don't think we have time for brainstorm. We also don't have any way of shuffling except the Agor of Polas and uh, that takes a lot of mana and time. And even though Brainstorm is an instant, most of the time it doesn't work like an instant. 
Okay, that's interaction, that's a land. We can go for a sprite. Turn three of them? Ugh. I think so. I don't know if I want this land though. Yeah, we need it. So we can deploy a lot of counter magic. Again, uh, islands are way better than mountains. Okay, so they play that Tinder wall, they have another one in hand. So I would expect them to cast the Tinder wall so we can just counter it. Cycle that dude. They are just passing now. I think I need to keep Sprite. I think they are playing the game correctly. They are playing again. Uh, uh, they are playing, taking into account everything that we could have. Like they didn't deploy their uh, Tinder wall because we could have a sprite. I'm going to go for it now because they don't have a choice. I don't think they don't, which is interesting. Yeah, they are just looking for lands. Chromatic Star is a redraw. I'm going to go for the sprite. Doesn't really do much, the chromatic star, but as we know, we need to uh, have uh, a clock. Also, even though a spell starter sprite is not the fastest clock, is something we can do. I'm not going to deploy the augur because we have the counter spells, and they could easily go off now from there. They don't, which is interesting. Lands fine. So we know they have a Manamorpho, so they are probably going to start with it. So I think I'm going to go for the hydro for the hydro counter spell line. Just go for the Augur. Yeah, really a counter spell. So now we just can pass the turn. What are they going for now? I think I go for the Hydroblast mostly because the Hydroblast doesn't do much in this matchup. We also stop them from going for a value ripping. So they know we have a counter spell. Next time we are going to have two. So they kind of have a clock on them, not in the literal sense. We just can't allow them to resolve uh, uh, songs, basically. I guess they could go for Sack Tinder Wall, Sack Chromatic Star, fix their colors and go for... Okay. Ninja is amazing, but we are not going to cast it. We're going to attack with the Ogre of, of Bolas, though, because it's free. They are not going to attack us anytime soon, so... Okay, we have all the counter spells. That's a good thing to have versus them, but they can just cast more things that we can counter. So if you're asking yourself why this guy is attacking the turn the wall, well, there is a couple of reasons why. Mostly because right now it doesn't do anything, but in, if in the future I, wa I have a fire ice in the hand and I want to use it to remove a thin wall, I need to attack and they need to block. So this way we sell that bluff in the future more uh, easier. The problem is we don't have a way of um, of using our ninja because we don't have enough lands to use all the counter spells we have. I'm going to discard like a braid to hands, I guess, because we can't cast it. 
No, I think it's Ogre of Bolas now. It doesn't do anything for us. I think they know we have a counter spell. I don't know what they are doing it like that way, but whatever. So if we find a red source, we can go for a raid on their end step, uh, and we can't do that with our Folas. So we're going to start discarding a lot of cards now. So I think Jordan is worth it. We want lands. That's not good. This is just a cycler, I don't want it. Okay, that's fine. Again, attack. Make them block. So this is close, uh, actually. They can't kill us in any time. What they need for uh, what the the things that need to happen for them is mostly just casting, uh, finding more rituals that we can counter. We can counter only two. That's bad for them, actually. Only returning two things. Two stingers. They're probably going for the cast my stingers, kill you in a couple of turns plan. No, it's just cycling. Oh, I don't, I don't understand really. We are playing the most Draugo of Draugo we can. Yeah. They're going for it, so I guess they have enough. They should have, because they draw half their deck. And we weren't able to find more land drops. We can counter that with Sprite, but I think we let that resolve. I'm just going to go for amount of mana. Denying the, denying them this only denies two mana. I need to demand a uh, counter more. I'm very afraid because we don't have a we are not in a good position. They know we have a counter spell, they might think we have two. I'm going to go for the sprite because if we have they might have an answer to the sprite, like an electric grid. I don't think so. Having an electric grid on that deck is nonsense. So I'm going to counter again. And let them combo. They should have it now. Sadly, we weren't able to find more uh, lands. That was the problem. Because if we could have cast the lightning bolts on their creatures, at least we could have stopped them from having mana that way. Yeah, I think we lose now. That's all. I think uh, I thought we had a good uh, a good chance of winning there. Um, again, as as I said before, and I said this in the deck tech, uh, this deck is teched to try to uh, grind matchups and not raise nonsense. And versus this nonsense. Uh, Level of Secrets would have been so much better than as fairies here because you need to clock them and we weren't putting a lot of pressure on them. So I think they got us, but let's see, they have uh, Tinder Walls, so they can cast the Tinder Walls, suck it. Generate mana that way. 
play the stingers and start cycling. Yeah. Yeah. The problem I have with this deck uh, is that I don't ever know if they have it or not. Uh, I guess they have it. Um, but I actually never looked at how many cycling creatures they have in hand or something. Uh, I don't seem to find what they cyborg. It looks like they didn't cyborg anything. Maybe they cyborg in some lands because we didn't saw swamps on the first game. That would make sense to me. Yeah. That was a bidding. So, uh, let's see next round how it goes.